Hola, me llamo Colin. I am in 10th grade, and this is the 10th chapter of Stella Diaz Never Gives Up. The last day of our trip is bittersweet. We've had so much fun visiting other places in Oaxaca, like an ancient city with pyramids called Monte Alban. We also saw an art museum filled with alebrijes and textiles, until Nick said it was too boring. I don't want to leave Oaxaca, but I can't wait for camp to start either. Today is also Nick's birthday. Because of our flight, it's a breakfast celebration at Maria's. Well, there's a delicious cake with cajeta, I'd rather eat as much papaya and breakfast tamales as I can before we leave. To regalo, mom grins as she hands Nick a birthday present. It's an envelope. Inside is an IOU for driving license. We'll split the cost when you're ready to take classes. Nick practically picks mom off the ground. Maria pats him on the back. Ahora tu es un hombre. Nick blushes when Maria calls him a man. I quietly cross my arms in protest. I disagree, I mutter. I feel a little nervous about Nick giving a handmade card and drawing after such a big gift, especially the way he's been acting lately. I never know if he is going to be happy or annoyed with things. Thankfully, he loves it. My present is a drawing of the sea turtle nest we found and me as a scientist nearby. That's me when I'm older, I tell him. He messes with my curls, obviously. We get back to Chicago in the evening. It's a little hard to be back. I miss the warmer weather and my daily mango that was the color of the sun. But that sadness vanishes when we check the mail. There are two letters for me. There's a letter from Stanley and a letter from the shed with instructions for my first day at camp. Mom reads that while I carefully rip open the envelope from Stanley. Hola, Stella. I love to be pen pals. I read about it once in a book, and it seemed pretty neat. What have you been up to? I've been playing football with my cousins and going swimming almost every day. We went to this cool, natural pool near their house called Barton Springs. The water was so cold. My teeth were chattering for like five minutes. Best of all, I just finished my first day of space camp. All the kids at camp are cool, and we have a bunch in common. Today, we had to work in group in a group to program a robot. That was hard, but once it moved, it was completely worth it. I haven't seen it. I haven't been in a rocket ship yet, but they promise we'll explore one soon. Write me back to tell me about your adventures. Sincerely, Stanley. This pen pal idea was brilliant. It's almost like an old spy movie. I wish I knew a secret code like Pig Latin or Morse code. Maybe I could try writing my entire letter backwards so that Stanley can only read it in the mirror. Then I think that's too complicated. Instead, I settle for my sparkly pens and a piece of paper and write my letter. I tell him all about Mexico and my big plans. When I finish, I drop my pen. I'm not sure how to end a letter. Sincerely sounds dull, especially after my trip. Mom, how do you end a letter in Spanish? Well, in Spanish you'd say, atentamente. Why? I'm writing a letter back to Stanley. He does want to be pen pals this summer. Mom chuckles. I'd write hasta pronto, since you will see him soon. I scribble it down and sign the letter with my full name, Estrella Diaz. That's more proper. Mom promises to mail it tomorrow from work. Next, Mom and I read the letter from the shed, aquarium. Turns out, all I need is my journal, imagination, and some snacks. Then I started thinking about something Stanley wrote in his letter about the kids at his camp. I hadn't really thought about other kids who will be at my camp. I don't know. I, I don't think I will know anyone there. Meeting new people can be a little scary. Mom, do you think there will be many kids at the camp? I'll, I ask, trying not to look nervous. I don't know how many there will be, but I'm sure they will be nice. And I'm sure they will love the oceans just as much as you do. I smile. That's true. Stanley also said everyone was nice at his camp. Then again, Stanley can make friends with anyone. While mom unpacks, I look at the shed envelope. There's a sea turtle on the front. It reminds me of the American scientist in Oaxaca. 
and what he said about our oceans. Being a marine biologist is a big job, and if I'm going to protect the ocean, I'm going to need to learn how. I hope the people at the shed can help me. That's the end.